Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna touch bases on masculinity. I'm gonna help you guys become more masculine because, as we know, it's a lot of CCs out there, guys. And that's not me judging anyone. Let's be very clear. But I could be very raw with the way I talk. So if some things come off kind of aggressive. You know, this ain't the channel for you. It ain't the channel for no crybabies. But anyways, as we know, guys, what's making me, you know, bring this content out and share my opinion to help whoever I can help. Or hell, maybe I don't help nobody. Maybe nobody don't even click on it. But it doesn't matter to me, guys. I'm just, you know, documenting my journey. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. And as we know, guys, I'm going to, you know, I'm trying to become way better with saying what I have to say in the shortest, you know, with the least amount of words as possible so basically what i'm trying to say is we know or if you don't know i'm letting you know what the world and the government is doing like i say it's always multiple reasons it's always more than one reason on why things change and why things happening why relationships break up why the stock market go up always more than one reason on why relationships you know get together why the stock market go down why the government do this it's always more than one reason so one of those reasons on what the government is trying to or not one of those reasons they ain't sound right one of the things agendas that the government is trying to do is basically feminize masculine men if they if they can basically in a nutshell get all men in the world to be more feminine well we know all of it they know it's a percentage game everybody won't be feminine but if we have the majority feminine and you know a small percent is masculine we can come and overtake them or overpower them at any given moment just in case something like that came about not trying to scare people or anything and say oh they come and they about to take over do this and third just in case the army or you know anything robots or whatever try and take over at some point they're gonna feel in more control if they get in making men more feminine they won't be able to stand up for them fam they families they won't be able to stand up for themselves so anyways in this video i ain't gonna hold you too long we'll go ahead and get you out of here i'm gonna share with you guys some traits that you could pick up on some things that you can do to help you become more masculine and some may say what you mean by that so as we know feminine masculine masculine in my opinion is just a man being a man a man being a man at the top is tier at the top is level so let's go ahead and take a look at it guys so i jot down a few uh notes that you know some things in my opinion that i believe will help a man out so anyways guys the first first thing foremost if you can't do this you will never ever be, get, be able to you know get to the the full you know the full developed person you want to become far as in this uh in this field what we're talking about so the first things first is vi visualization that's already visual visualizing that you him for real and what i mean by him you guys have heard the slang the terminology that means you that guy that means women choose you over the other guys every single time because you just that guy but anyways let's go ahead and talk about that visualization you already want to see yourself where you picturing yourself or where you want to be before you even get there it got to be a mindset shift before you even start the shift meaning in order to be more masculine it has to first start in the mind you have to visualize it you have to you know basically like how they say fake it before you make it but this is not a bad thing with you becoming a man especially if you're a younger man and developing into this because you was just a young boy now you st you know you need somebody to help coach you teach you how to be a real real man so with that being said and even if you're an older man it doesn't matter because somebody somebody never probably never really told you on how to develop better characteristics of being a man and some may ask well where hey where you get yours from how you get yours if if you even think you got it because hell i don't know i'm whatever you think i am i mean me personally i know i'm that guy but i can't say that for you i'm whatever you think i am so with that being said i got my characteristics from my father i believe my father my my people like the old heads the ogs they the most masculine man that there is this new generation is nothing like the ogs when my daddy then was coming up real masculine man and i'm going to get into some of the characteristics and traits where i believe that masculine energy you know is is from and what i mean by that and what i you know just to put in a nutshell like my father you know they very hard working man don't mind getting their hands dirty you know not how to work on a car any type of problem come up when a woman oh baby my toilet you don't start up like they know how to be a plumber you know i need my walls done they know how to do that roof leaking they know how to fix that car messed up they know how to do that like in my daddy generation was specifically my daddy not all man 
He know how to do any type of job, any, any, you know, anything. And that's just giving off masculine energy. Whenever a woman can call you for a rescue and you ain't got to call nobody else, you know how to do it yourself. And the trick for that, guys, is, you know, even if you don't know how to do it, look it up real quick. Figure out how to do that shit. So, you know, you can, you know, she'll know you, you that guy. So anyways, that's one of the, that's one of the things right there. Next thing would be confidence, guys. You got to have confidence in yourself. If you don't got confidence in yourself, you already looking like a wimp. You know what I mean? Because what type of uh, man that give off a, a masculine aura that you see acting all shy, scared, nervous, barely want to talk to women, you know, just acting all, you know, scared. Posture ain't right. He all, you know lumped up like that like come on man that ain't that ain't that ain't masculine at all a masculine man every masculine guy you see with you know a little muscle a little success all of them walk with screen confidence guys you can't tell them nothing and that's exactly what you need to do so the next thing is in my opinion like i like i say all this is my opinion this is what i think so the next thing would be and it ain't just thinking this i mean if you got any type of head on your shoulder you know like these are masculine traits the next thing would be clean just what type of masculine man, you know, or, you know, guy that's really him, that's nasty, that's dirty. Just think about that. Now, this is just my thoughts now, but I like to keep my car clean, match clean, center console clean. I keep a rag that wipe it down, keep the dust off my stuff, keep the back seat clean, keep it all clean. A woman get in here smelling good, it's clean. She like, dang, like most dudes' car, they get in, it's the opposite. They got trash everywhere, food everywhere, this everywhere, car stinking. Like, come on, man. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't it. That ain't it, pop. You got to fix that. But anyways, that's uh, definitely a thing. Clean. Then when they get out your car and they go into your house, carpet clean, furniture, pillows, everything laid out. Not too crowded, spacious, but clean, neat. All that stuff, guys. That's, that's masculine. That's masculine energy. No guy that's really him is going to be in a position to where... He can be talked about or looked at as nasty or any of that. Nah, nah, that ain't it, pal. But next thing, guys, is basically what I had just talked about. I already skipped this, went over this when I was trying to tell you guys why I believe it just naturally was instilled with me and just from watching my pops, you know, about all the things that he can't be able to do. And as he does those things, I watch him and I learn from my for my own so like i say just a man being able to do many different things knowing how to fix that car knowing how to do all these handyman jobs and if you don't know how to do it learn how to do it so also being more masculine is just think about it guys a man that know how to hunt learn how to hunt if you don't hunt yet learn how to hunt if anything went down the world something happened in the world you still able to provide for your family she's gonna look at that as oh man like my everything you know the grocery stores are my man still going in the woods killed the deer you know made a fire cooked it skinned it you know that's masculine you feel me knowing how to hunt knowing how to fish some of you guys out here don't even know how to fish can't even catch a fish and feed your family if things went you know left learn how to fish that's masculine next thing will be yard work how can the hell can you be a man and you don't know how to keep the yard clean neat cut grass in a straight line it sounds crazy but these are little things guys i'm telling you if the woman got any type of old soul in her she gonna pick up on these things and know okay he like he learned from somebody his like his family attribute like something like this guy is him he doing all this stuff so anyways i'm telling you so anyways let's go ahead and take a look at it we also got guns having guns having guns knowing how to work guns knowing how to shoot guns being you know very you know, doing your thing with a gun, not in the streets, slaying the gun just for her protection, protection for your family, knowing how to operate a gun, knowing how to have aim, knowing how to shoot your target, knowing how to do these things, knowing how to break the gun down, knowing how to do all these things is giving off masculine energy, guys. So the next thing would be getting your hands dirty. I already talked about that. We'll just skim through that. Just a man that ain't afraid to get his hands dirty. Start acting like a pretty boy. Like, I mean, okay, it's okay to be handsome. But it's different between a handsome man and a pretty boy. A pretty boy get called cute, like a little puppy. Like, he'll never get laid for real. Like, you might get laid, she get drunk, and you catch her slipping. But she ain't really going to give you nothing like that. She don't think you're going to fuck the shit out of her because you're a pretty boy. But if you're handsome, if you're getting called handsome a lot, she really like, you know, you sexy to her. You fine to her. You you giving off that sexual uh, a 
attraction to her. So you already know, man, lo know the difference. Don't be feeling all good when girls calling you cute and, and, and pretty boy. That ain't good. That ain't good in my opinion. You know what I mean? Maybe it is for you, but I take it as offense. But they don't call me.